Creating a longer campaign but don't know how to make the story arcs, want to make sure that all your plot beats connect and make sense? Well, stick to the end of this video and I'll give you the six steps in order to create your campaign arc. Let's walk into it. Welcome back storytellers, my name is Kalula Roberson, an experienced DM here to help you pursue your fantasy. And in this video series, we're going through creating a campaign and the process that I use in order to create mine. So if you haven't watched my previous two videos, click the i card up over here and make sure you watch those videos first. Alright, let's get into making your first story arc. Step number one, name the arc. Now, if you watched our first video inside of this video series, you know that I told you to say one word in order to focus how you want your ending to work. The exact same thing applies to the story arc. Simply name it in order to focus down on what you want to have happen within this story arc. So for instance, inside of my political media campaign, which by this point, I really hope you guys have been able to see it. If not, I'm so sorry. I'm still going through technical difficulties. If you guys have, you'll understand what I'm talking about. So the first arc of this campaign is called Investigating the Black Hand. And that literally tells me all the things I need to prep for that arc is to how are the party going to investigate the black hand and most likely it's going to end with them figuring out who, what, where, and how the black hand, right? So name your arc in order to better figure out what exactly is going to be happening in it. And quest of the day, what is the names, names of different arcs for our campaign? So uh, if you're new to this whole video series, basically what I've been doing is creating a campaign alongside with you storytellers using my other social media accounts, which I'll link right down here and will be linked down below. Pay attention to those other social, uh, social media platforms as I will be asking different questions in order to get you to interact with me and we can create this campaign together for our final video to get our uh, final video, which the campaign will be released just for you guys. All right, let's move on to the next step. Step number two is to bullet the overall accomplishments. So really you already know what the camp or the story arc is going to end with or what they need to do in it so just make bullet points on what exactly the information or things that they need to do in order to complete this story arc and as you have all these different things bulleted together you get to really get an overarching look and see whether or not all these things make sense and lead to that one name that you made for the story arc and whether or not they actually can complete the name that you had given it all right let's move on to the third step step number three flesh out how they uh, finish each of these accomplishments and how they move from one accomplishment to the next accomplishment. So as you're doing this, you're really trying to figure out how exactly they're going to get this piece of information. And then as they get that information, how is this one going to lead to the next bullet mark in order for them to really liquidate and move through your overall story, uh, your plot line, for your story arc. And I actually made a really, a really old video called How to Start Your First Adventure, which I'll link in the iCard up here, which goes through how I personally go through and create my different and various adventures. So I hope you get to enjoy that. All right, let's move on to the fourth step. Step number four is to create the white noise. What's that? So what the white noise is, is basically all the stuff that happens in the various background. So uh, once again, I'll use my political media campaign. In that campaign, there's a few different white noise things that are happening. One, there's uh, an election happening at the Magnate of Magic, which the party, if you guys haven't already seen it, will be in uh, having to engage with because they've been asked by uh, Illyria, a woman who comes from the Tower of Necromancy. Another thing that's a white noise happening in the background is there's this huge war happening on the east of the Median Empire with this Ulrich Empire, uh, with the Ulrich Empire. And another white noise thing is, actually I'm not gonna say that one because it's gonna ruin the campaign because it's gonna be a white noise thing that's gonna be coming up if it has not already. So basically create things that can happen in the background that your party does not need to engage with whatsoever, but happen that way they can engage with it if they want to, which will lead them to making side quests, which is the next video in this series, or they can just have it in the background and they know that this world lives without them. If the party did not exist in this world, there would still be elections going on. There'd be still wars going on and they don't, they are not the forebearers of everything. And it really makes them feel like they live in a breathing campaign in a breathing world. All right, let's move on to the fifth step. Step number five, drop in hints. So as they're going and completing different uh, objectives and accomplishments that they need to in order to finish up this story arc, drop in small hints for the next story arc that they're going to be going through. So whatever that is, whether or not the next story arc is named uh, Defeating the Dragon Queen. All right, so start putting in little hints on, oh, maybe we have to kill this dragon queen or who is this dragon queen better yet? There is this dragon queen who's overarching everything. So start putting in those small little hints that start to connect them to the next story, uh, the story arc. That way, once they finish this story arc and it's like, all right, we know we need to defeat this person that we've been hearing all about. And it really adds a much much higher level of continuity to your overall story as they know, well, we've heard about this person all, all along, so it's not anything new. It's just, you know, something that we already were going to go towards anyways. All right, let's move on to the final uh, step and the most important step. 
All right, the sixth and final step is to leave room for error. Now, like I say all the time, no plan survives contact with the party. So you can bullet out this, like spend three hours making a huge document with all this different information, but you need to leave room for if your party's gonna change things. Leaving room for error is really just a saying for be open for improvisation. Don't try to say this is exactly what's gonna happen. Be like, all right, these are the various things that can happen, but remember, just leave room for error. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the content in this video. If you really liked it, please feel free to sneak attack that like button. And if you really, really liked it, please feel free to subscribe as I post new content every single week, just like this for storytellers just like you. I love you guys, I appreciate you guys, and in a world without fantasy, sometimes you need a little dungeons and dragons.